So in the series of learning C programming, we are discussing file handling in C. Last video was introduction to file handling. In that video, we have discussed like why we need file, what is a file, what is file handling. The basic part we have covered. In this video, we'll see some more, you can say terminologies or you can say terms or functions or pointers, you know, that would be used in this file handling you know, concept. Whenever you write a program, file handling program in C, you cannot write down this program without the fun that function or without the pointer or without the terms that we will use in this uh, lecture, right? So first of all, get yourself, you know, familiar with these functions or terms or, you know, all the terminologies, then it would be easy for you to write down programs on file handling, right? So that thing we will discuss in this video. But before that, I just want to tell you one thing. If you guys are preparing for GATE 2022 examination, then I guess it's only one month left, January is left. So it's right time to start your revision and go for test series. So here, an academy is going to start all India mock test series for GATE 2022 aspirants in the month of January, every Sunday. And the best part is you can take all these tests for free. These are full length mock tests. They are going to cover the entire syllabus. And these tests has been curated by their top educators. So you will get yourself familiarized with, you know, the exam pattern and the trends and the type of questions that can be asked in gate exam, right? And after every mock test, detailed video solution of that test would be given to you by their experts so that you can analyze your, you know, weak areas and you can improve according to that. And an academy is also going to conduct a combat on 2nd of January at 11 a.m. It is a scholarship test for GATE and ESC aspirants. You can take this test for free and it is a live test. So here you will get a chance to win up to 100% scholarship and you will compete with thousands of learners from all over India. And also you can get some exciting prizes like Apple iPads, AVL speaker, Amazon vouchers and much more. And it is a live test. You can unlock this combat with my code JKL10. Plus, they are also giving you two great offers. If you subscribe to 12 months of an academic gate and ESC plus subscription, you will get extra two months just to help you in your exams. Plus, if you subscribe to 24 months plan, then you will get extra four months on it just to help you in your gate and ESC 2024 exam preparation. The price detail you can see on my screen. And use my code JKL10 to extra to get extra 10% discount on these paid subscriptions. So all the relevant links and the detail I'll put in the description box of this video. You can go and check out. Now let's see. See in the previous video we have discussed what whenever you execute your program, then that would be loaded in RAM. Some memory would be given to that program in main. And this is suppose your hard disk. RAM is what? It's a volatile memory. This is non-volatile memory, right? If you want that whatever you are processing the input data and the output you want to store permanently then in hard disk using file we can store file is what it's nothing but uh, you can say uh, some uh, memory blocks or you can say sequence of bytes where you can store data permanently on hard disk that is simply a file right so if you want to store that thing that data you can store here permanently right so now see here but if this is a file suppose abc.txt i have a file the file name is abc.txt and if you want to do something with this file some file operation you can perform like you can create a file you can open a file you can read this file whatever is there in this file you can write something into this file you can append something into this file many operations are there all we will discuss one by one with the help of program but if you want to perform some operation with this file you cannot directly access this file this file needs to be first of all loaded here you can say a copy of this file would be loaded in main memory while processing right so you cannot directly access this file like that you need a special pointer one point that is very important right that is a file pointer you need a pointer a file pointer right so see if suppose i, I write int asterisk ptr you know pointer is a variable that store address of another variable that's it if this i'm writing then this pointer is going to store address of a variable whose data type is integer like I am taking int a so I can write ptr is equal to address of a right if I write here float a and pointer type is int so can I can you write this thing this this would be illegal right this pointer can store address of whatever data type you write here address of that variable only right so here I want like obviously I want to process I want to access this file or I want to do some operation with this file so 
the pointer which is going to point to this file that would be what of this file type we cannot take like int pointer float pointer these are primitive data type right so the pointer data type should be file right see here we have a data type file this capital f i l e this is already been uh, defined in which header file stdio.h this has already been created and how using type def struct struct and here whatever in this data type that are written here and here we have f i l e file so this is a data type i hope you are clear with this type def and struct because we have discussed this thing in my previous videos if you are not you can check out those those videos first right so this is already been defined in stdio.h you can directly use this data type in your program you just have to include this header file that's it right now this this implement implementation you know, what is there in this data type so actually it depends on operating system machine to machine right so here but definitely we have here we will have a pointer like something we will have a pointer here we will have buffer size here and many variables are there right it depends system dependent it's it, it is what implementation dependent actually so here definitely but we will have a pointer that is going to point this file right means what see we are supposed to create a file type of pointer here in in your program we will create this f i l e file asterisk a pointer any name you can take i am taking f p file pointer p t r you can take this name can be anything so this pointer will point or will contain address of file type of variable right this pointer will contain address of a variable or you can say address of integer type of variable so this will contain address of a variable whose data type is file right so ultimately behind actually we think that it is going to point directly to this file whatever the file but behind the scene process is what see this pointer is going to points in in this in our program this is our program in main memory so we have a pointer fp so it is not going to point directly to this file right it is going to point a file type of variable here this type of variable in this type of variable also we will have some information like pointer buffer size or something some other information also right so here we have a pointer and that pointer will point to this file right and if more specifically i say then not actually to this file because this is in hard disk this file first of all would be copied here right this is like buffer and this is going to point here right this is the case because whenever you execute this program obviously th that file would be one copy would be there in this the program would be in uh, ram main memory so this is a file type of pointer this is buffer or you can say the copy of this file in which you are maybe reading something from which you are reading something or you are writing something you are appending something now that would be reflected here right if you are reading something then obviously if i have here jenny in this file i have created a file using notepad i have saved that file abc.txt once you will open that file so that jenny would be here so you can read this jenny and you can print on your output screen if you want to write something if you don't have anything you can write this the, that would be written first of all in this buffer and that would be loaded here finally right but you are not supposed to go you know in such deep process you can just think like we have a pointer this pointer is going to access this file using this pointer only we can access this file whether you want to read this file write this file or update this file anything if you want to do using this pointer you can do only right now how this see this pointer variable we are going to create in our program but this file variable we are not going to create in our program so how this file type of variable would be created right 
for this we have a function f open function f open it means directly the name suggests like it is going to use for opening a file right so whenever you will call this function and this function is also defined in this header file stdio.h this file data type also this f open function also so this up f open function whenever you will call this function this would automatically create this file type of pointer and up right and it will return address right and that address is going to store into this fp so now fp is going to point here right and th these two tasks would be performed with this f, f open function it will create this file type of pointer as well as a copy of this file would be opened here right and ultimately it will return address right and that address would be stored in this fp so now this fp is pointing to this in this file type of variable we have a pointer that, that is going to point this buffer and ultimately using this now we can process this file actual file so this is the behind the scene process right but you are not supposed to go in into such deep process you can directly think like this fp is going to point this file right now about f open i hope this this file is clear to you this file pointer is clear to you why we use this file pointer one thing second thing is this f open function right now this is defined here now here it is a function so what are the arguments we are going to pass here f open means you are going to open you want to open a file so here simply you will pass a file name first argument and next would be mode in which mode you want to open this file right suppose here in our hard disk i have already have a file abc.txt if you want to open this file simply in f open function pass what abc.txt or you can pass the full path where this is the file like c the folder name and everything and after that the file name after that mode means in which mode you want to open this file many modes are there basically six modes main we will discuss right r read mode write append r plus w plus a plus these six modes are there if you want to read this file only just you can write down here r in code double quotes if you want to write something w append something a r plus means for reading and writing both this also reading and writing but something different from uh, no this uh, this r plus so see the modes we will discuss every mode we will discuss one by one with the help of program Th then you will get it better rather than just you know you uh, know uh, teaching you the theory part like this will open the file in read mode or write mode i'll show you practically with one program one program for this 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 for all the modes one one program right so for now for this video i hope you just have to clear this thing in f open we will pass two argument the file name and the mode and now this will return a pointer or you can say address right address of this 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 object file object uh, sorry this uh, variable the file type of variable so this would be stored where that address would be stored in a pointer and obviously we have a file pointer here so that would be fp in fp we are going to store that address so with with the help of this line this process is to be done right it is pointing to here here we have a pointer that would point to this buffer and this ultimately will you know lead to this file in this hard disk right so you just have to write down a simple line f open file name mode that's it now you can access now with the help of this pointer you can access this file you can do anything with this file this file read write append whatever you want to do with the help of the mode whatever mode you have written according to that mode you can do something with that file right and one more thing you have to remember third thing after you no know, writing everything like we have done whatever you want to do with this file you are supposed to close the file f close and the file pointer fp this is very important because if you are opening a file if you are using that file it's your responsibility to close that file once you close this file 
this would be freed right now it means this file can be used by any other person or by any other pointer we are not pointing to this file anymore we have closed this file right so this is very important now this family this this memory would be released for this buffer memory and this for this file of variable memory right so this is very important three things you need to take care right first what is fp why we need this then f open function why we need this what is this and then we are supposed to close this file these three things are very important for every program with what program you write in your file handling concept you are supposed to use these three things in all the programs so i hope these basics are clear to you now so from the next video we will see and operations like if you want to read something from this file what operation you need like we need this one this one is f printf if you want to write something to the file f scanf if you want to read from the file f put c if you want to write something uh, write a character f put c to the file f get c if you want to read a character f get s if you want to read a string from the file f put s if you want to write a string to the file right so all the functions all the modes we will discuss in the later videos one by one with proper program and practically also i'll show you on my laptop right how you are going to do that thing i think from this you uh, know for this video whatever i have told you that is clear to you now fine so whenever we use in a program fp this file this f open f close i guess you are not going to have any doubt about these topics right so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care